All right, what is up, guys, and welcome to episode 31. The ship is almost completely built. The whole front side is done, so these build and repairs aren't running anymore. The back still has a little bit left. Almost done with this engine nacelle here. She's got that little tiny section there. Got a little bit of armor plating to do in the back here. And then a little bit to go on this engine nacelle on the left side. Aside from that, everything else is pretty much done. Got our gravity generator right here. I think it's got half gravity, but I think that's because we're on the moon right now. I think if I go into space, it should change to full gravity. Um, find out soon-ish. Uh, the ship's not going to be ready to go on any adventures for a little while. I want it to finish building and then I'm going to fly it and move it to a spot. <laughs> I want to build a specific kind of platform area to connect it with the connector. And that way I can bring materials in, bring materials out as I need to. It's got this pretty funny looking connector on the front. This landing gear is going to go away. I'm going to be putting landing gears on the bottom somewhere. Probably like kind of in the middle and they'll hang down a little bit and that way I can land pretty level. This thing is absolutely huge though. I'm going to be putting lights around it so you can actually see it for the most part. You can see the light shining through these doors and then if we go inside here I did bring a programmable block in and I put it right here and that's for an auto close script for doors so all of these doors in this main area are set up We've got the two doors that go to the outside the two that go to the hangar and then this one is the one that goes up to where we'll be putting assemblers and all the other stuff that we might need but you can see, I can open the door. It does stay open for a little bit. I might change that, but it'll close on its own. So it's the same for every single door in this area. That way, once I get some ice on board, these vents, you can see it just turned green because the door is closed. So this entire area will be pressurized. We'll have our medical station here, which only does energy right now because I don't have any ice on board. So that's one of the things I'm going to want to get done pretty soon. Go ahead and head out. And then over here at the old base, you can see I got my mining ship set up and I'm grinding it all down. It's done a pretty good amount so far and just taking out all these blocks and stuff. And I'm probably going to have to move it. I don't know if it'll cover all the way over here. But I'm using it in, let's see how much stuff we have. Uh, large cargo. So I've got 1.5-ish million. Most of that's the ice, which it's it slowly going through the ice because it's hovering. And then I got tons of power cells, some ammo, missiles, all that good stuff, which I think these missiles might have gone. Yeah, it looks like it filled this missile turret. Uh, these need... Some more ammo soon. Storm gun turret is doing pretty good. Got the missile launcher and the storm gun turret here. And I did a little bit more work. Got some more side thrusters, lift thrusters on the bottom here. I still need to. I'm going to replace these reactors with the azimuth ones. And I've got two azimuth batteries so far and two normal batteries. So I replaced two of them with these azimuth ones so far. I'm going to do these as well. And then thrusters. I changed the color to white. I just think it looks pretty cool having white hydrogen thrusters and also because I put these two azimuth thrusters here just to kind of aid a little bit with stoppage. And I don't know, they look pretty good. So this thing should be able to hold a lot more than 4.4 million in weight. I should be able to fill the cargo container all the way and be able to fly with the thrusters that are on it right now, which is nice. But I'm going to move it 
a little bit closer so we can reach some more of the stuff. And I'm going to put a programmable block on here for the auto door closing as well. And let's see. Mm -hmm. eh, should be okay. I'm going to keep you right about there. I should finish up grinding that base down pretty soon. And then I'll be able to do some upgrades to it. I'm going to need to go on a mining run fairly soon, I'm sure. And I still got the two missile turrets and the storm gun turret right there. I still need to fix this ship, but I'm waiting until the mothership is done. And then I can just bring that ship over by those building repairs and maybe even project it to get it fixed. These aren't doing anything. Uh, let me go ahead and produce some more of those plates. Uh, I got the shield fixed. It was having some issues, but it seems to be working now. Uh, there we go. And it is huge. I don't know why I made it so big, but power is not an issue right now, so I'll leave it like that. I'm going to do another uranium run pretty soon, though. Even though I think I'm pretty stocked up. Uh, oh yeah, 55,000, that's plenty. Refineries are still processing some uranium, and then a little bit of gold scrap. Not a whole lot, that's about it, just a little bit of gold here and there. And then the rest of them are pretty much empty. So I'll be able to do a mining run pretty soon. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing yet, man. I really don't know. I think, let me, let me go ahead, I'm going to hop in you. I'm going to fly your slow, weird thing, whatever this is. I'm going to fly it. Oh my god. Oh, that thing has some serious lift power, but not much of anything else. But I'm going to bring you over into this area. I'm going to paint you with my color of Oh goodness! I'll put you right here, and I set up my mining ship to grind this specific blue color. So I'll be able to do that. Hopefully, this one. And if I paint you, it should grind you down. Paint that, and yep, there it goes. Sorry, you're gonna you're gonna have to go now. Yeah, it was nice knowing you. It's making pretty quick work of this thing. Got stuff falling up, oh, and there it goes. All right, took care of that issue. That thing is gone now. Once this guy is done, which is going to be pretty soon, pretty dang soon. Once that's done, I'm going to move it away from this kind of like build area, if you would. That will move, but what I want to do, and I can't do it very easily, is putting ice inside this freaking huge ship. So I think to do that, I'm going to need a connector on top so I can connect my mining ship and just dump a whole bunch of ice into it. And I need to make sure, I don't know if my controls are still the same, looks like it. So if I turn, actually I'm going to have to change that. Uh, so I got some groups, gyro room lights, I don't know why that's a group. Interesting. Okay. So those are the groups. Assembler group one. Okay, so it's still connected to things. So hydrogen thrusters, fire thrusters, so hydrogen. It's right here. So I need to definitely update you. So those are good. Go you you you. I click on that. Save. That should be good. 
get it on off real quick. So those should stay off. So if I put, I don't know why I closed that door. I got the script going, so I don't have to worry about it now. Okay, so ice, ice, ice. I might have to make another ice run with the ship being updated now, the mining ship, because we got uh, we got a pretty good amount of ice in here actually. About five million kilograms worth. I can do that in one run if I go to Earth and get a bunch of ice. I should have some ice in here, not very much. And uh, here, pretty good amount. Okay, so we have a decent amount of ice. So what I can do, hopefully, is try to figure out where I'm going to put a connector on top of here. I think I have... So I got these turrets and stuff up here. I got some connectors up top right there that are not connected to anything. Where's the closest connector is going to be? Probably in here. No, 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 no. So that's where the guns are. All right. So that's where the guns are. And the unfortunate thing is, okay, so that's not built yet. Why are you not built? Oh, I must have changed it. I see, okay. So if I take that tube out, and this tube, there we go. So that'll fix that issue. I must have changed that and I didn't really notice. So those are all connected now. That makes sense. Okay. So now I just need to figure out where to put a connector. I might take one of these guns out temporarily. But if I do that, it's going to project it and then rebuild it. So I'm going to have to wait until the projection is done and they're done building this. So I'm going to give that some time to finish up what it's doing. All right, the projection is completely done. So the ship is completely done up to what I had built in the creative world. Quite incomplete in the back, but there is room for expansion if needed. It does function pretty much exactly as it did in my creative world for ship building. Uh, right now all of the azimuth thrusters are on. I need to make a group for those. I've got the hydrogen thrusters all set up in a group. And everything should be nice and connected and this thing is... It's not complete yet but it's pretty big. I gotta fill in these gaps here. It's a really thick armor plating and everything. I thought about filling it in with light armor blocks, but I might be able to put something in there, so I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. Got a door here, which you've seen before, and it should close on its own. Perfect. Same here, and then this goes into like the main, main sort of area. It's got some windows. You can see everything, and it's an airtight area, so you can see the green light. I just don't have any ice yet. And yeah, it should be pretty nice. I went ahead and painted it the gunmetal gray for now. Got a medical station, some building repairs. I'm going to put more of these all over the place. Kind of throughout the ship. Some of them I will end up putting the script on so that they can auto craft as they need to. It's kind of... The ship's not going to be used for demolishing or anything like that. It's just going to be more for building inside of itself. Or if it takes damage, you can repair it. That sort of thing. I might honestly put a projector inside of this ship and project it itself when I'm done with it. That way, if I take like a huge chunk of damage, it'll rebuild it. So that would be pretty cool once it's done. And then in here is where I'm going to put my assemblers and stuff like that for the building repairs and pretty much anything else I can really put in here. It's a huge, huge space. And even down here, I think, yep, there's another gigantic room right here. Tons of space. i got to put some lights in all over this ship. 
And then I think there was another one right here. Another pretty good sized room, which is probably going to end up being another gyro room. Depending on how big this ship turns out, I think it should be enough gyros for now. We've got one, two, three, four, four layers top to bottom, so there's tons, tons of gyros. Got all of our cargo containers, everything in here looks pretty good. The reactors are running. Gotta get these hydrogen tanks filled at some point. Got even more gyros in here as well. And then there's another catwalk, which I don't think I'll be able to get to. Unless I go here. And then I think I put... Where did I put them? Oh yeah. So I got O2, H2 generators lined all the way through here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten A2, H2 generators, which should be enough. Energy low. Energy low, I know. That's fine. So we go up here, go up these stairs here, leads to another door, which goes back to this area. Close, cool. So auto closing doors, freaking awesome. So now, oh, the time comes where I need to take this off, open tide. Hopefully it doesn't mess with us. So I gotta turn my projector off. Now that it is done projecting, Go over here. Uh, projector. Uh, remove the blueprint off. Perfect. So now should be able to actually recharge myself first. And another thing I did, I went ahead and airtighted my area here. So I got this door. I need to put some scripts and stuff on this one. But this whole room is now airtight. You can see. For some reason, it like completely loses pressure, but it's just that door. But I got a bunch of air vents here, so it'll eventually regenerate. I don't know why it loses pressure completely just from that one little door. I think there's a glitch or something. There's gotta be, because there's no other openings. Once this thing pressurizes then it's fine and it's fairly quick but I don't understand why it loses its pressure completely I guess that's something I'll have to figure out later but for the most part this room is airtight for the most part so I regenerated so I'll go back through here close both of the doors but I guarantee when I come back it's gonna have no pressure which is weird that uh, open tide is getting really close. Oh boy. All right, we're good. It's getting further away. Uh, yep, cool. So we're gonna grind this block. Hopefully it'll hover. Okay. So now that is a ship, and I need to put some landing gears on here. I have the one right there, but I don't know if I want to keep it. Some landing gear right there. There should be good right there. And then if I take that off. Did I put those on wrong? No, okay, they're on good. So I put those there. Should be able to change my settings to switch lock for both of them. And I don't know if, without the hydrogen, if I can lift with this thing at all. I know it's really heavy. So if I do landing gear two and three, landing 
configure. Save that. Go here. Groups. <coughs> Landing gear. Switch lock. There we go. Now we can move it ever so slightly. So on the moon, azimuth thrusters by themselves are plenty to lift forwards, backwards, side to side. Very nice. Now where am I going to park you? Maybe... Maybe kind of over where the old base was? a little bit God this thing is freaking huge all right so we're locked Parked. Now I need to figure out the shield because the shield's kind of dumb. It was using the controller off of the ship, and let's see. We lost pressure in here again. Nope, oh, nope, okay, we're good. So this controller on. Okay, so we're working again now that that ship is off and not screwing with our stuff. That thing is firing up. So we're good there. Oh, not used to coming out and seeing this. All right, so this thing is pretty big. I'm super excited though. Now that it's done projecting and I can do everything else by hand, now I'm just trying to figure out where to, I need to put like a connector and I'm thinking probably take this guy off. Something picked you up, I don't know what did, but I have that, I can do sort of a temporary do a sorter and I've got the conveyors already I need a connector I'll place the landing gear so if I do a sorter which I can't build let me just uh, let's go probably right click on this get the sorter onto here to pull pretty much pull ice into the ship put it there do this is temporary it's not permanent a few of those with a connector on top just like that enough to get my mining ship connected to it and that should allow me to pump ice into this guy hopefully 
but I also want to do an inventory sorting type of system on here which I have no idea how I'm going to do it I know that there's the ISSI's inventory manager script which I really want to use but I don't know how it works so I guess we'll learn so I can probably put another programmable block here no I'm just kidding just kidding I need some items for this because that'll take a while so I'm gonna put why can't I stack you guys that's kind of annoying all right so you guys don't like to be stacked that's cool all right Control panel, edit, da, 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 inventory manager, do a little sorting, copy to editor, configuration, check code, population successful, okay. Um, so, how do we do this? That's a lot of reading. Let me go ahead and read this stuff real quick. Alright, so I think. For the most part, we need to put some keywords inside the cargo containers. So there's this container here. So if I go large cargo container, ores. Oh, okay, 0%. Cool, cool. So ores. Should be another. What the heck is going on? So there's another one over here. We can change this one also. Large cargo ores. Zero percent. So I think that's good. And then down here. So we got components here. And components there. Ingots there. The ores, ingots, I think, components, components, something like that. So that's not too bad. So now I need to come up. Ooh, goodness. I'm having some, like, a little bit of lag. So I think that's working. And I wonder if I can put, like, an LCD screen. All right, so this is going to take quite a bit of learning, but for the most part, it kind of looks like it's working. Got the ores, ingots, components, containers in here. Ingots, 35 liters out of 4.2 milliliters with some uranium. All right, so if I set up my sorter, To take drain all on whitelist ice, then I should be able to bring ice into the base. I don't have a lot, so I wonder if I can add another sorter. All right, so I think I got it. I got whitelist ice drain all pulling from the base turn this one off if I can change that to pull stuff if I need it but right now I want to pull ice so I'm going to go ahead and connect the ship and should start giving me ice I'm going to get this guy as full as I can so I'll go ahead and zoom in ready to Go to inventory, we should start pulling. Maybe not. Or maybe we are. It's full, connector's full. There we go. So the large cargo is filling up now. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this thing up to about four mil. And that should bring a pretty good chunk of the ice out of the base. 
That way I can put it into our mothership and hopefully get the hydrogen thrusters working and all that good stuff. So now I think about it, I think around 3 million is probably plenty. That's a crap ton of ice. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock and get this guy connected up to the mothership. Ice out. There we go. Whoa, well, Jesus. Okay, hold on. Let's unlock. I need you to take all of my ice. Damn. I think you just sucked it all up at once. That's a little bit weird. So it looks like that's changing. 9.6, 9.5. So the O2H2 generators are cranking. Our ores cargo container is pretty full. All right. Are you still broken? Okay, so you're still broken too. There you go. How are we looking? Uh, why are you on? You're supposed to be off. Why is that on? Okay, so my thrusters are broken. Uh, thrusters. Okay. So that's better. Alright, so our tanks are slowly filling. If we go to control panel. Hydrogen tank, very slowly filling for all two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. So two. So I should be able to come back to this in a little while, and they should be pretty close to full off of the two million ice. And we can look here. I'm gonna probably move this screen and probably put a bigger one because I can't really see it from here. Our ore container is at 9.2%. The, the inventory script, I'm gonna, I need to do a lot of learning with that. There's some crazy complexities. I'm gonna be adding more large cargo containers throughout the ship. Uh, I don't really need a cargo container for tools. Ammo, maybe. Bottles, not really. So I, pretty much ores, ingots, components is our big thing. And we're still about 9.2. I saw that go down a little bit. This is really cool though. I like that you can kind of see everything. But I could have swore I saw a panel. Can I change the color of the panel? So if I do like straight black. No, not really. Okay. Uh, don't remember what color you were. Kind of somewhere around here. Not worry about it. So 9.1, so it is slowly draining the ice, but 10% of a cargo container is pretty good. I think it's more than one. So we're pretty full. That should close. Yep, cool. So it took all of the ice out of here. And I don't want to pull more ice from the base. So if I go ahead and turn that off for now, I can go ahead and hook the ship back up. Uh, 
Ooh, it's so hard to see with those words. There you go. Connect you. Sorters are off, so they're not fooling. Now, wow, this thing is dark. Very dark. So, A gravity. We got this door. It should go. Oh, actually, these vents are going to be working now, huh? All right, so I've been fooling around with this inventory manager a little bit as well as my outer door closing script. I've probably updated each door about four times because it keeps going away. When I change the name, this auto close will go away for some reason. I don't know if it's interfering between the two of them. And same for Issy's inventory script. I set up my two large cargos in the front for ores, and then I set up an ingot component and then everything else cargo container and it keeps resetting so the two front containers keep going back to default and then Issy script keeps turning the other three into what it wants or as an ingots in one so I'm gonna have to figure that out because it's driving me freaking nuts the way it's working I keep changing it and it keeps resetting to a different one so I'm gonna have to figure that out at some point but for now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is it has ores ingots in one container which our ice is going down our hydrogen is filling very slowly so because I've burned through almost all of my ice I want to take you're gonna close Yep, see? Look at these freaking doors keep defaulting. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's driving me freaking crazy. So I'm just gonna let this thing sit for now. And I need to put. I wanted to put two more of the. Like build and repair minor things? What are they called? Oh, uh, what's it called? And of course this was empty. Anyways, I want to put two more of those on. What are they called? It, there it is. The drill system. So I'm going to put two more of these guys. Uh, nope. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So one, two. I want to put these guys on real quick and I'm going to go get as much ice as I can and see how much weight we can pull this time around. So I'm going to put you, I want to hopefully have you guys facing the same direction. Hopefully, put one there. There. And then I'm going to change the settings on it so that they're all facing the same grinding sort of area. And I don't know why I keep trying to go back down here. I can just deposit the rest of the items. Yeah. So we got those built. Their color is a little bit different. That's fine. So I want to change them so that they're even though they're in different spots and close cool so at least this one's still working so what happened to you change you are you connected you're connected so let's see I think I have a group for them build and repair drills drill System save and then I 
need. Can I do a group? No. Control working, cool. Alright. Uh, this is where it's going to get tricky. So I'm going to do you. Show area. Sun's coming up, so that's good. Uh, let's detach. Trying to get to a spot where the show area works pretty good. And probably right about here. All right, so there's the first one. System one. So depth, height, width. Let's bring the width to twenty. We'll do twenty five thirty height twenty five depth, okay. And that'll bring a pretty good area. But I want to make it to where they're all in pretty much the same area. Drill system. So I'll bring the width. Do 45, height 25. Okay, our forward offset will be 40. Horizontal. Negative. That's a lot. So that's 40. We'll do try negative 20. It's a little bit too far. Negative 10. Mm. Want to come. It's really close. Let's do try negative eight. That's pretty good right there. You can see it's a little Okay, you guys are fighting some space pirates, super gunmen, and reavers. Okay, those scared me. So, looks like I need to shift. This guy. What was it negative eight? Too much. So it must be in a different spot. Eight. And there we go. So the first one. So we got six mining thingies on here. So we're gonna have to finish the ship up at some point, but for now I'm gonna go ahead and head to Earth and find an ice lake to mine.
All right, get a bunch of this ice mined up and head back to Earth and fill up the mothership and get that thing loaded up with ice. That'd be a good picture right here. <laughs> Looks pretty good right there. That'd be a good thumbnail, I think. So this thing is definitely mining a lot faster. Come up a little bit and climbing. I did set my drills to collect only. Somebody commented about that. Thank you. So work mode collect instead of drill. And then that way they'll collect only the ice and it seems to be doing it a lot quicker too. Almost four. I should theoretically be able to get about six million and still be able to fly with the extra thrusters that I have on here. I do plan on adding two more upward thrusters and two more forward thrusters on those slots right there and right there. And that should definitely help things out quite a bit. But it definitely seems to be mining a lot quicker with the extra drills. So I'm going to go ahead and let this keep going. I've got tons of missiles and I got all these ammo drums for some reason. Oh, I think I collected those from the old base. So I don't have a use for these on this ship because I use the... Uh, where you at? The burst cannons and storm gun, which use the precision shells. So, I don't know, I'm probably just going to have to get rid of those and put them into the mothership or something because that one does have sea whiz turrets. So, we're going to mine up until we get to about six, maybe even seven. We'll go to seven and see if that works. Okay, so I think right about there. We'll call that good. We're about 7.5, so 3 million heavier than our previous capacity. And we'll see if we can get back to the moon, wherever the moon may be. Uh, moon base, right there. All right. Let's see if we can get some thrust. Oh yeah, all right. What in the hell? All right, so let's head to the moon. Just kidding. All right, so I think I know what happened, I think Azimuth thrusters are screwing me up. Screw you back. We've got a hydrogen thruster backward that's not registering. Okay. So do backward. You you do backward thrust save that and put you um, right there on off do nine off Okay, I see what's happening. So we're so heavy that we can't Alright. 
So level out, and if I tilt, so we're holding. Okay, I see. So you can see we can maintain our spot, but as soon as I go to forward thrust, we start to fall. All right, so that's the issue. We're gonna have to get out of the Earth's atmosphere somehow. So we'll have to turn our forward thrusters off. And we'll have to lift almost the whole way. So we're going to have to rely on our lift thrusters, use our forward thrusters, and hopefully get some sort of momentum to get out of the atmosphere. Alright, so about 6 million is our limit right now. This is what we can lift, but we can't forward thrust out of the atmosphere. We're going to have to kind of do a tandem sort of thing. I'm running full forward, full lift. Try to get up and out. All right, so lifting. Let's run forward. climbing for the most part. We're going to have to get up and over this mountain. And now we'll just do forward thrust and hopefully just keep going forward until I can get out of the atmosphere and then we're good. So now I know that my limit is six, not seven. Very, very heavy ship. Definitely gonna have to put some more thrusters on this thing. So we're looking pretty good, we're getting out of the gravity. Our heat is still climbing, but that's fine. Now that our gravity is going down, I'm going to start tilting up. Should be able to maintain speed. Go ahead and turn. And start working our way towards the moon. It's really nice having the backwards thruster option to turn off. So all my backward stressors are off. And I can still fly pretty much the same. Get out of gravity. 
and we still have like the dampers so still pretty much anywhere I aim is still where we're gonna go it's just not gonna slow myself down unless I turn them back on so we'll make our way to the moon all right go ahead and turn our reverse thrusters on and off and that way we can get pretty close the reverse thrusters work extremely well because of the azimuth the reverse thrusters work extremely well because of the azimuth thrusters it'll slow you down extremely quickly but they're not that powerful thrust wise but they're really good for like slowing down I'm in probably right about 3.5. I'll go ahead and turn them back on again. Right here. Turn those guys on, and they pretty much stop us instantly. So we'll go ahead and bring this guy in. And we're going to go straight to the mothership get the ice unloaded it's gonna be pretty quick if I remember the first time I brought ice to it it kind of sucked it up instantly Try to get lined up a little bit. Right about here. Take a look at our connector. is coming out really quick now it's kind of slowed down there we go and we'll lock make sure I have some ice in here a little bit a little bit all right cool so that thing is good if we're empty 500,000 versus six mil Closing. Good, 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 good. Let's take a look. See if our door's screwed up again. Of course it is. So I don't know what is going on with the scripts inside this thing. It's quite the pain in the ass, though. So ingots ores, they're the same exact inventory for now. And they're at 44%. Pretty good. So that will get our hydrogen completely full. And then our power is doing good. Looking good. Except that the doors are screwed up still. I don't understand. That one's good. These uh, the programmable blocks are driving me nuts. So, Issy's inventory is kind of like it's super cool, but it's a pain in the ass because I can't understand why it keeps defaulting. Last action 0 0.05 uranium to the reactor. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Aside from that, it seems to be working decently. I like that I can see how full my cargo container is. I got one, two, three, four, five. Those should all be the same, though. 
So I have two cargo containers that are not assigned to anything for some reason. Mm, cargo. Yeah, so these two are just, uh, they're not cooperating. So I wonder if I'm gonna have to take them out. And so this too, this is also not cooperating. So other clothes. Work. Thank you. So this container, and then the same thing on the other side, they're not cooperating. So I wonder if I take them out. Uh, I don't know if I can put, I can put one. I can put one more cargo container here. So I might have to make a room for cargo containers, which would be not there, but uh, let's see up here. It would be the room behind here is where I could possibly put all the cargo containers once I can figure out how the script works perfectly where it's not going to completely default again then the ship will be pretty functional hydrogen wise we're doing pretty good we're almost completely full so I can fly this thing around no problem Got plenty of power plenty of hydrogen but the script is driving me crazy and then the doors keep defaulting so I can't trust them just like this so I think I'm gonna look for a better door script but I know that Issy's inventory script is like the bee's knees so I just need to figure out how it works so that it doesn't keep putting ores ingots in one unless I just let it stay ores ingots I don't know. That's tricky. That's tricky. But I just, I'm not even going to bother. I was going to start doing the doors to auto again, but if they're just going to default, I don't want to bother. So I'm going to find a better script for doors. And then let the hydrogen fill. 43%. I love, I, like, I love this. This is super cool because you can see how full the cargo container is because it's, both of these bars, it's, it's, it's one container. It's only utilizing the three singles down below. It's not using the two, which I want it to use them because I want to put ores in the two that are there. But if it keeps defaulting, then I might just have to leave it for now and let it do its thing. So it has ores, ingots in one, components in one, and then tools, ammo, bottles in one. So I might just have to leave it like that for now. Supply catch, super gremlin, and gremlin light. Space pirates are coming up with all these new ships, like the gremlin light. I've never seen that before. Why is it not moving? Gremlin light. Four point. Okay, it is moving. Anyways, so I gotta figure out why these scripts aren't working the way they should be, the way I think they should be. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on Issy's inventory. It's super cool so far, I like, I love it. Shows managed blocks, 12 sortable, 49 inventories total. I think that's, I don't know if that's including. Uh, 10, yep, 10 O2 issue generators on, three reactors, yep, that's all good. And then last action, 0 0.05 uranium ingots moved from large cargo container ores ingots to O2H generator. What? That's weird. Oh, ice. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why did you move uranium into the O2H generator? That makes sense. I like this. I like being able to see everything right here so I don't have to actually go downstairs and check my inventories and stuff. I can see it all here, but I want to be able to change it up. I want to make it work. So 
I think next episode, I'm not going to be doing too much work. Are you auto? No. So I'm not going to be doing too much work on the mothership. I want to get some work done down here on the base. I know you're going to have to fill up because you're not pressurized already, which is dumb. I don't know why it keeps losing pressure completely. It's really weird. But I want to do... I'm probably going to try the Issy's inventory here first because I have five cargo containers here. Which actually, I'm going to do that now. Now that the mothership's not hogging all of everything, I want to see if I can make it work here. This should build up. So we edit, draw scripts, essays, inventory manager, copy to editor, check code, yada yada, okay, cool. Initializing script, and then if I put this guy right there, let you get welded up. Click on you, city panel, hashtag I am main. There we go. So it's doing stuff and things. I think it's moving stuff around. Ores ingots. Ores ingots. Components. Ores ingots, tools and bottles, cool. All right, so it's working pretty good here. So three times ores ingots, seventy-two percent. More times components, eleven. And so I have five containers. Three of them are there. One is there. One is for all of that. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Warning, fighter cockpit is not connected to large cargo. Blah, blah, blah. Item transfer aborted. Well, that's good. Okay. So it seems to be working for the most part. Got ores ingots in this one, which is full. Ores ingots. In this one, but what if I want to put that's full too? I'll just leave it. Just leave it. So ores ingots are seventy two point five percent full components eleven percent. And then three and three percent. Not too bad. So orzing is orzing it's and then I don't know why I didn't do orzing it's here. Do components here. It's weird. But I'll leave it. And then I can put more cargo containers up here. I left room for more. So I can put them up here. But for the most part, it seems to be working pretty well for the base at 3.8%. So yeah. Three cargo containers for ores ingots and we're, yeah, we're pretty maxed out. So I've got 16,000 iron, 68,000 gold. 1.3 and 62,000 uranium. Alright, 
So that's all of our uranium right here, 62,000. I'm probably going to do another uranium run soon. Probably off camera. I'm going to go mine up some more uranium and give our refineries some stuff to refine. But this one seems to be working fairly well. I'm going to have to figure out how this script works because it seems pretty complicated. But I like that I can see how full my stuff is. And I'm going to have to add more cargo containers. Let me go ahead and do that real quick actually and see what they classify as. So large cargo. Right click. I'm go ahead and put you. I can't put it there. I can put it here. Here. And there. And let those weld up. See what they classify as. And our thing should change. 72. It should update. Maybe it won't update on its own. Control panel 6. Wars ingots. Wars ingots. Like that. And wars ingots. There we go. 36. Should go down a little bit more, maybe. We're going to sit right about 36. Alright, cool. So, three more brought us down from 72 to 36. So, we have plenty of room for more uranium and whatever else I want to bring in. So, that works out pretty good. That's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to do a little bit more research on scripts, mainly Issy's inventory, and try to figure out how the hell that works. And I'll see you guys on the next one.